And one of the survivors of the Columbine shooting was in Carmel today, sharing her story of survival and raising awareness of the importance of tissue and organ donations. Casey Johnson was only 17 when shots rang out in her Colorado high school. On April 20th, 1999, she came face to face with one of the Columbine shooters at the school's library. I looked over my shoulder to see the shooter five or six feet behind me, pointing the gun at the head of the boy who was hiding behind me. He died, and I knew my turn was next, so I crouched lower, covered my ears, and the shot came. And I heard it, and then I saw my arm flying out in front of me and land on the floor in front of me. As he was yelling at me, I knew I needed him to believe that his work on me was complete. So I quit breathing and played dead until he moved on. Championship show. Johnson almost lost her arm in the shooting, but thanks to tissue and bone donors, doctors were able to reconstruct it. She's now using her story to advocate for others to become donors and save lives. Johnson shared her story during the Indiana Donor Network's annual educational summit this morning at the Renaissance Hotel in Carmel, and I was honored to serve as an MC for today's event.